Welcome back to Rant Time with Steve. Excuse me, Drive Time with Steven. Where I'm going to rant right now. Going out to all... And I don't think any of my subs are going to, but damn it, if it's true. I'm already burning subs because I went after Trump. And um, I went after Q, so I'm burning subs. Good riddance. If you're pissed off that I'm speaking my mind... Um, I've never said that I will not in any way, shape, or form support Trump anymore. What I have said is that he's been letting us the fuck down. And he has. So if you want to get, if you want to say bye, say bye. Peace out. See you later. I don't care. Won't miss you. Don't let the door not hit you where the good Lord splits you. Peace out. Number one. Number two. If you think there is any validity to this mask shit going on. If you think there's any validity to it. And if you think we should capitulate even an inch to this bullshit going on, and I'm not talking about if you have to keep your job to feed your family and so on and so forth. We're not there yet, right? We're not there yet where you have to make a decision that would seriously affect you, like taking a vaccine, right? Wearing a mask, it hurts your pride a little bit. I have to wear one when when I'm at work, even though it kills me to do so. But if you actually think it's important to wear a mask and that it's helpful, you're a retard. You're very ignorant because masks do nothing. They do nothing. Even Fauci came out and said they're largely symbolic. The Fauci. The Fauci. The faker. The faker Fauci came out and said that. All we're hearing is how the cases are spiking. Oh my God, these cases are spiking, people. You should be so scared right now because the cases are spiking. Who the fuck cares if they're spiking? Don't you understand if they're spiking and hospitals aren't being overran, which they're not. They're trying to say in in, in, um, Arizona, there was like 89% ICUs were taken. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They've lied to us all the way through this for six months. So I don't believe it. Unless I see it with my own eyes, I'm not going to believe it. Number one. Number two, um, the cases are spiking and that's so scary and terrible. Why is that scary and terrible? When these cases a lot of times are fraudulently um, accounted, but even the ones that aren't, largely it's asymptomatic people that aren't even sick, right? It's the freaking flu. Cases are spiking. The death count isn't spiking. So what does that tell you if you're just basically thinking about this in the most in the most basis, basic of senses, right? In the most elementary way, way to think about this means, oh, that means the mortality rate's going down and it's really not that scary. It is basically just the flu, a bad case of the flu. Maybe not even a bad case of the flu. Maybe a normal case of the flu if we really had honesty on these numbers. So can you wake the fuck up, people? Sorry about that. I'm angry right now because I'm so frustrated. People are waking up to this bullshit. Every goddamn day I'm hearing on the radio. Every damn day I'm hearing on the radio. The first news and it's the last news I hear. Cases are spiking. Coronavirus cases are spiking. A second lockdown is coming. Governors are taking away more rights from people. You better bend over and grab your ankles because we're going to insert a plastic mask into your asshole and swirl it around. Everybody is being ridiculous. And it's not even... The people that are pushing this, no. This is an agenda being pushed upon you. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you have these leftist, Marxist, and Quifa types out there burning down the cities. And people are basically turning a blind eye to it or giving them a wink and a nod like, well, hey, that's kind of bad. Wink, wink, nod, nod. But man, if you want to go to a Patriot rally or a open up the economy rally, right? Oh, you are such a piece of shit. There, I'm terrible. Me, me, me. I was out uh, working yesterday and I had a, I walked into a small, a a mini mart, right? There was an Indian guy there running it named Sean, which I don't think is his real name. I've never met an Indian named Sean, but nice guy. But, um, 
Uh, all of a sudden, this Karen, total Karen, Marble, Marabelle smoking, Marble smoking, Marlboro, Marlboro. I can't say that right now. Marlboro smoking, cracked out looking Karen comes in and goes, What's the address of the star? And he's like, I tell you, the book, the book, the book, or whatever. You know, he tells the address. Nice guy. I'm not making fun of Sean, but he had an Indian accent. Anyway, um, comes into the store or tells her the address of the church. Goes, well, I'm reporting you to OSHA because I have seen several people come in and out of here not wearing a mask. And if I wouldn't have been working, I felt like telling her, you, you proud of yourself, Karen? You proud of yourself? Huh? You know, you, you, the, the, as if these small businesses haven't gone through enough. Now you're going to come in here and you're going to lecture with your holier than thou cracked out looking Marlboro voice to this hardworking uh, man who's done his best to keep his small business uh, afloat during the last six months. Why don't you just take the carton of the cigarettes, Marlboro cigarettes that you came in here to buy, head back to your fifth wheel or your, your travel trailer, whatever the hell it is. Right? Head back there, open that box of wine you got, and shut the fuck up. That's what I felt like telling this woman. I didn't, because I was there in official business, you know, so I didn't want to light her up. But that's like literally what I felt like saying to her. We need to pull our heads out, people, um, and realize this is some serious bullshit. They can't make us all comply, and you're not going to die. It is not some scary Ebola-esque, bleed-out-your-arsehole disease that's going to kill everybody. That's not what this is. So wake up, please. Smell the coffee. It's burning. All right. Till next time, it's SGG Perspective. Just had to get some of that off my chest. That's about it. All right, bye.